<laughs> Let's start with your starting pitchers, Mr. Kenny. Yeah. Now, listen, you want to sit there and you want to put Yad Darvish into your little top ten list? Who? And all you, uh, this is re- Darvish. Oh, I mean, this Darvish. is ridiculous. Okay. How yeah. does uh, he's 16? I mean, wake up and smell the coffee. I mean, 16 for me was a sportsman of the year for crying out loud. I can't help that. Hey, dog. I, yes. I, let, let's, all right, let's clear our minds for a second. Why do we think Clayton Kershaw is the best starting pitcher in baseball? Like, why do we think that? Well, he's won three Cy Youngs. Let's start that way. Yeah, and, but, like, the main thing yeah, is. Because he is. I don't have an argument with that. I'm not making a big deal about postseason. He's been think, a bad postseason pitcher. But postseason has to be part of the equation in some capacity. It is. And yet, the postseason for Bumgarner before this season, and that was a great four weeks. There's no question. It was historic. But you know what his ERA, Bumgarner's ERA was before this October for in the postseason? 3.79. So it's not like he's got some That's magic because of what, you gotta look that he goes. But Brian, you got to look at the game. He had two bad starts in 2012. That's why they're high. Right, and he it pitched happens. Game, he right. pitched, ga- he it pitched happens. game four in Texas, eight innings, three hits, two games to one San Francisco. And, it's gonna, and, and, he, and the point is, he's going to have bad games in the postseason, too. He just didn't in that four-week stretch. So it's he's not been as a if... Gra- He's, he's been a very good regular season pitcher. You're making it sound like he's 8-10 and 10 every well, year. Dog, he wins let, 15 well, let's, games. Let's talk about that. Now, again, I, what I was getting to was we think Clayton Kershaw is the number one pitcher in the sport basically because he doesn't give up runs. So what's his run prevention? How many guys does he strike out? How many innings does he pitch? That's basically it. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. So with Madison Bumgarner, I look at, with all pitchers, not just Bumgarner, I look at ERA plus, that's park adjusted. War, that's only your runs allowed and your innings pitched. Fielding independent pitching, strikeouts per nine and innings pitched. Now, you ready? Here's Madison Bumgarner's rankings last year when he was so great. 29th, 20th, 15th, 13th, 12th. How does he get into the top 10? How? Well, Ben Zobris led your war category. Ben Zobrist, I'm not interested in war. That's a dopey category. That's a dopey statistical analysis. Stop at the war. You're driving everybody nuts with this war. You mean to tell me right now that Madsen Bumgarner, in your eyes, after what he has done the last few years, is not the top 10 pitchers in baseball? His performance says he is 29th, 20th, 15th, How is 13th, Tanaka? 12th. Tanaka pitched a month. How is Tanaka ahead of him? Tanaka has a skill set with strikeouts and walks that is vastly better than Madison Bumgarner. He didn't pitch the second half of the year. That's true. He, he pitched, well, what, do you go to Japan, too? That counts. He pitched two months, for crying out loud, right? Pitched a half season, and he was tremendous. And looking forward to 2015, look, there's an injury concern, clearly, with Tanaka, just like there is with Cliff Lee. And Bumgarner is more durable than those guys, but I would still take those two. They're better at preventing runs than Madison Bumgarner. Oh, it's my clear. goodness.